Uh, welcome to this video tutorial. We've just uh, launched Arch Merch 6.1.1. And what do we get? Well, to do and to explain you that, you should go to archmerch.com and there's also an archmerch.com. So that's the first thing. There's a headquarter and there is the documentation, the development, and you decide what you install kind of website. So it looks almost the same. It has some blue so so black uh, background here and this is gonna be our learning um, platform all the information all the tutorials are in here i could point out as well that you should click on the general as well so that's gonna be a lot of tutorials since we have in arch merch let's go back in arch merch we have three desktops already so making tutorials about three desktops is already immense but in archmerged.com we have a possibility to get hun well, hundreds is too much airing uh, 20 30 desktops that we can discuss and install and make tutorials about so a lot of information will be um, put on here and it's gonna be a hell of a job to um, make sure that you find your way around here so do click on any of these elements that's one. So Arch Merch, what is it actually? Well, it's meant to be fun, to enjoy, to learn it. And there are two versions. There's an Arch Merch and Arch Merched. And the one is with the, with the biggest gigabytes is the one that's going to be, well, just themed. Select your wallpaper and done. That's the idea of the complete tutorial. The vision is that you install it and go to facebook and listen to music and listen to and watch your video it's just everything is installed so these are the possibilities for you and um, let's take a look at it so we have this xfce i'll try to be short because i've talked already a few minutes so this is xfce you get already a tweaked system all the icons are in order well you'll see that not all the icons are in order there was one that just looked out of place and i don't know where it was again yeah here it is so this one it looks out of place let's put this tip into the tutorial it's quite normal that it's out of place it's because of our software developers thank you very much for not making it the of coding it the proper way so but you have this little script that says sudo hard code fixer and thanks to fog along which is you can google on internet uh, everything is fixed now but that's all you need to do don't um there you go all uh, you have to change is that so this is xfce go to the settings this is all xfce you check out what's in there and there's of course the appearance where we will have to look at all the themes that are in there lots of themes lots of icons scroll down scroll up the latest the newest one for the guys from um, uh, from 6.0 there is paper that's a new one and up there is e-papyrus and faba is i guess new as well so we want to have a themed system when you're out here you just say now the font a little bit bigger and that's it it's a few changes and after playing around for 15 minutes with some settings and maybe a new wallpaper down here let's do a next wallpaper and that's it that's all you do that's the idea and then if you set everything right as you can see it's it's your choice of wall of um, icons it's not um, well it's your choice so arch merch okay let's uh, log off we can log off here so log out because we have three desktops and xfc is meant to be the one when you come from uh, when you come from windows you say i want to change uh, let's try linux and then you start with xfc i think that's the most uh, basic one and most uh, similar one to windows because this again is a bit uh, more difficult, more complexity, a bit strange. And we have here conkeys that are at work. There is the OB menu generator you need to learn. Um, there are other things that are quite different than in XFCE or in Windows even. So choose a wallpaper, you could do that as well. 
Let's take something bright. Apply. We could also go here, up here, next. So it's a lot of possibilities to change your wallpaper, no problem. Uh, I do hate the look of my icons at the moment. So I go to here and I say icons, I say arc icons. What about that? No, oh, that's not so bad. And then you can go to the files and then what you see, it's the arc theme from Git Horst. Um, uh, and then a number, I forgot, 318. So anyway, you can choose whatever you want, uh, surfing icons and so on. Again, fonts change and there you go. We can have um, the menu, you can change this menu as well. A lot of elements to change and uh, yeah, it's even red up here. So we have an updater that says, look guy, there are updates already in your system. So we could say, okay, apply it, whatever, go ahead and we're up to date. There's also a possibility to control alt T, ask for the alias, and there are other possibilities to update, which are about here. And this is because I always do typos, PDE, present working directory. I just do type in the wrong uh, sequence, that's it, the wrong sequence, and well, that's simple things that make life better. We improve the system in release after release. It's gonna be short, Eric. Keep it short. So I'm gonna get out of this thing, I'm gonna log out, and then I'm gonna go to the third one, which is i3. And that's really difficult. You don't have, I don't assume if you come from Windows, you can find your way in this one. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. It's a tiling manager, means when I press, oh, yeah, let's quickly put screen key on. That's why I put it in the system to use it in my tutorials. When I press super and return, like so, then you have um, a tiling manager, tiles the applications without you uh, having to uh, drag them and resize them. So it's 50-50. And I can go ahead again and do it like this. And control shift Q is gonna kill it again. So a lot of uh, workspaces as well. So one, two, eight, when I press super F4, What's happening? Oh, look, GIMP is starting. Oh, GIMP is always ugly when it starts. Single window mode. Voila, Windows Shift Q, gone again. On number eight, we have the file uh, explorer, so the, the, the file uh, manager. And that's, of course, Tunor. We could install Nemo and work with Nemo or anything else. So it's up to you to decide what you do. Um, Let's get out of here again. So this is our, maybe the wallpaper as well. Um, I don't know if we can, if we could, um, but we can, if we could. And we go, for instance, to nitrogen as well, but it's up here. So it's red, it says, hey, I'm here. So let's take this one, apply it, and there you go. Super six. And there you have it. You have another wallpaper. That's the conky. It's only there to help you. It's not necessary to have planks and dockies and docks and, and stuff like that. There is Alt F3. If you want to have an XFCE stuff in it and, and find your way in that. Or there's Windows uh, Shift and D, which is the one I use always because you can just type ahead. So you know the name Firefox or Vivaldi. Oops, Vivaldi. I use the Control Shift D a lot because that's actually the D menu from i3. Whoa! Okay, so this is just an overview, guys. How to get out of this? Also very important. Super X, and then you see the K, the L, the U. I'm gonna log out, and then you can switch up here again. How to get back? And you decide what you take: Open Box or XFCE. Whatever you want, whatever you choose, it's there. What's the advantage of having three desktops? Well, if you have a lot of extensions in Firefox, a lot of tweaking done in Google Chrome or Chromium, well, everything stays the same. You have your Dropbox, you have your OneDrive, your, your music is on there, you know, all, all in here in the tuner, file manager, and then um, you switch desktops. Well, no problem, just no problem. So um, you have um, everything is there. And what you did is just change your desktop environment, but your files, your tweaks and everything are in there. 
I hope you do enjoy Arch Merch. We've done a lot of work in it and uh, we do enjoy a screenshot. So let us uh, see what you're having at home, what your creations are and uh, share them on Google+, share them on Facebook. All right, cheers. <laughs>